Hi guys, Eileen here, and I just was making this box. I painted the outside black for my ATC card to go into mail. And I did some white stars with the polyfilla and my stencil. And I did silver streaks, kind of making it look like falling stars. I did a stamp here with embossing um, powder. What I did for that was I stamped it on top of tissue paper here. And then I um, embossed it, cut it out, glued, like dried it, heat tooled it, and then um, glued it to my box here. So then that looks like that. And um, did some black water like splashes inside um, just to kind of decorate it up. And I thought, well, I did make a video on well, making it, but it seems so kind of like, you know, hmm, yeah, why am I watching this? Because, I mean, I know how to paint. So I thought, well, I'm not sure if I'm done, so I'm just going to kind of go with it and do a few more things. One of the things I like to do um, is add some glue, like a Mod Podge glue. This is glue mixed with water that I use the same bottle here. Um just to seal it and then I might add more more stuff. I don't know. But I thought why not? Um I thought it was kind of, it was nice, but I'm like, hmm, still kind of boring or you know, not doesn't strike me as done yet. So I'm gonna continue. And you don't need an hour video of me painting this thing. So I'm like, well, I'm going to delete that one. And just kind of go from where it's like, well, it could be done, but it's not quite. And how do you kind of just add that little finesse? I don't know if you guys can see this if I'm in the right area here. I'm trying to... One thing that drove me nuts in the last video is that by the time I did two layers of paint and then blow drying it or heat tooling it, it's like all the video is drying. What a waste of time. And I don't have the option of pausing it. And I don't know how to edit properly because I tried to edit splice another video in one of my videos and it only did the first video. It only downloaded the first video on YouTube. So it was like, oh, that sucks. So that kind of seals it in. So now if I add stuff, it's not going to smudge any paint or anything. Although the paint's pretty good for that. But I always do in my layers, like state when I'm stamping or something, I always seal each layer just so that I don't have a smudge mess at the end. So even if I'm not sure I'm going to add more, I like to do this. now. I think I'll do a little bit on the inside. So I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was adding some copper because I thought that would look really sharp. I don't know if it's going to be too much metallic, different, but hey, I think I'm going to give it a try.
Okay, so I'm going to do copper now, I believe. I'm going to really like that. So, this is the copper one, and it's so pretty, so I'm hoping it'll work really, really well, like the uh, silver did. I'm going to put this little box behind here. I've got some crayon or something on there for my paper. And I'm going to find a stamp. I should have had this prepared. Of course, that would be too easy. Oh, I know which stamp I want, and I just found it. I have a bazillion stamps, but I'm not complaining. I'm not in the least. Not in the least, because you can always, always stamp, stamp them up. I'm going to use this one here. I think that's cute. And I'm going to wash this down. So I'm going to make sure I'm trying to get on the camera and I'm realizing I'm not doing so well. So I'm going to stick my fingers in here. I'm going to push some around, and I'm going to do my best, I'm going to get just the top and the edges here, I don't know if you've seen that if I was on camera, ah, I really got to get better system of holding it, so I'm just doing the top and the edges here with the Copper. <laughs> and I think it's going to look really nice. I'm hoping so. We'll see. The glue was still too fresh. It'll look nice. If you do too much at once, you have no way of, uh, um, I had a little brush here. Where did it go? And it's not here. Just to get some of the, there's something you're supposed to rub on there and I have it. I never used it. Like a little thing for static or something. Okay, so, this is the. This is it so far. Now I'm going to use my heat tool. Ow, that's warm. Can you see it? Changing. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, I'm glad I bought this. That's crazy. Look at that. Can you see that? That's pretty. And I bought Martha, Martha Stewart because it was at the Walmart. It's a little cheaper, I think, when you buy it at the Walmart. And I love it. And I didn't put any on that end. I think it looks really, really sharp. Really sharp. So, I'm going to stick some on the end here because I missed that. You guys are in my... Can you see me? I should get a piece of paper. A bigger piece of paper would probably be intelligent. So, I'm liking how... This pop is looking for the bronze. I don't know what color you would call it. I think it's so pretty. What do you think? Get in the light. I have my light kind of turned down because 
it seems to make it be going too crazily bright over here. So I think this is kind of just plain, but now that makes it look more popped. What do you think? I think so. So now let's do this side. Now I'm going to grab the watermarks again. See, it doesn't have to be like a very thick stamp. It um, doesn't have to line up. Oops. It just adds a little pizzazz. Stick your fingers in the box. Stick your fingers in. And it looks... Washing my um, stamps off. Looks like I could have scrubbed them a little more. Here's the top. Can you guys see that? Not in the view. I don't know. I'm not in the quite in the area of my workspace that I'm normally in. Well, off to the side. So I keep going off. But if I back up the camera, maybe I can just work in the space. Okay, so. doesn't have to be perfect and could be more bloppy. Because like we can see there's quite a bit of stuff, um, stuff there. I can either grab the paintbrush and take some of it off or I think I'm going to leave it just because it's going to add a little bit more. Um, I think it's going to add more um, just niceness, brightness, and texture, and look unique. There. Now I am done with this. Definitely, definitely am in loving this product. Oh my goodness, look at it on the stars. Look at that. look at this now it was quite plain a little embossing powder and look at it look at all that texture now this is going to be a perfect gift I think I could even restamp this and maybe add a little bit more embossing because when I put the glue over it it might have taken some of the shimmer out but I don't know we'll see we can try that I just love it. I don't know if I can line this up. Don't try this too. Sometimes it just totally messes up and I think I just totally slid. But even if I get a little bit of... I'm not caring about how much... Like how much you can read it. As much as just the brightness of the metal color looking like there's a tag or something there. Oh 
Oh, I love that. Look at that. With the texture of the polyfill behind it with a couple of stars and stuff. That looks great. That looks fantastic. You could really, really play with this embossing powder stuff. It's like, look at that. I mean, who cares if the stamp's legible? That's the whole point is now just... Oh, it's gorgeous, I think. I think so. I'm very happy with this. Now I'm thinking this is just about ready to go. So my video went over, so I'm hoping that it'll download. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.